Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite Read Write Think interactives for elementary school, and that is the Alphabet Organizer. Now, you can find all the Read Write Think interactives right here. And the one we're going to use right now is the Alphabet Organizer, which you can find by going through this list right here or going down to the student interactives on the left-hand side of the page. Of course, I'll link to this in the description of this video. So here's the Alphabet Organizer. We're gonna launch the tool. And the idea here is that students will build their own little books based on the alphabet. So I'm gonna call this one Richard and my alphabet book. And now let's go ahead and start using one word and one picture per letter. You can see we have two different formats here. We could also do a list of words for every letter, but for this one, I wanna do one word and one picture per letter. So let's choose that one and let's start with letter A. And I'm gonna use the word apple and let's now add an image and I have an Apple picture on my desktop. I'll put a description here. A is for Apple. I like to eat all kinds of apples. Now I wanna point out something that's going to happen right now. You'll notice that I have capitalized the word Apple. When I do so, read, write, think is going to tell me, oops, please enter a word that starts with the letter A. And that is because this is case sensitive and they want the word to begin with the lowercase a, just as it appears in the template right here. So let's do another one. We'll do letter B and I'm gonna put in bison and I'm going to add a picture of a bison. This is a bison, okay. or I might write B is for bison. And let's click OK. Now, we're gonna repeat that process for every letter of the alphabet. And when we're done, we'll hit finish, and we can print this out as individual word pages or in a chart format. I'm gonna do this one in individual page format. And we'll see, there's my first page. Let's go ahead and print that. And now I have my page right there. Now, if we wanna go back, we can do charts and notes, and we can print that way. Let's go back and do that one again. There we have it. So that's the alphabet organizer. And we can go back in and continue to edit as many times as we want until we get it exactly how we want it. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.